Paul Baroness Gay. My peers, whilst I welcome this bill, I think it is a shame it's taken so long to acknowledge that maternity leave should be granted to ministers and that is being rushed through both houses, meaning there is not enough time to scrutinise the bill. So I welcome the bill, even though it is such a narrow bill and there are some flaws in it as I see. I mean, for example, there has been no equality impact assessment. So I wonder, could the minister say why? And is it because the bill is being rushed through? As the government has recognised that women holding ministerial office should be paid maternity leave, this should be an opportunity to look at the wider case of improving paid maternity leave for all pregnant working women. And I do hope uh, that there will be another maternity bill before us soon so we can look at the position of improving uh, the lot of all pregnant working women. The bill should be an impetus to address the low statutory maternity pay, which is around £151 per week or lower in some cases, and is less than half the national minimum wage. So the pregnant woman's income is reduced at a time when she's preparing for the birth of her child. The government has done the right thing uh, by the Attorney General and women cabinet ministers. I do hope they will put things right for the rest of pregnant women in the country. Now, what is surprising to me and many others uh, is that the word woman is not used in the bill, but instead the word person, as Baroness uh, Noakes explained so well, and I certainly agree with her. Considering that only women can get pregnant and give birth, I cannot see any reason why the word woman cannot be used. Now, I believe in using gender neutral language where it is appropriate. But I do not believe it's appropriate in this bill. In his letter to peers, a noble lord through the minister explained why the term person reflected modern drafting convention and guidance in place since 2007 and is common across much of our legislation. I do know what the minister says much, which I assume means not all. Now, Jack Straw, Jack Straw as leader of the House of Commons in 2007, made a written statement dealing with the use of gender neutral language in legislation. Now, obviously it was not debated, but this has become the guidance and in many respects was good as no longer in legislation would we see the male gender used when it should have referred to men and women. But there are ex examples such as the bill before us when the word woman should be used rather than the word person. And I can give the example of the 2010 Equalities Act which used woman, not person throughout the act and in all sections relating to pregnancy, maternity and lactation. Uh, if I could refer again to the Minister's letter, and I quote, we recognise a drafting convention that was originally designed to avoid denigrating women should not result in the erasure of women in our, from our public discourse. And as a result, the explanatory notes have been changed using the word minister instead of person in several places. I just wonder about this, when the minister recognises that it is not appropriate to use the word person and have changed it to minister. So, but why couldn't it have been changed to woman? On the issue of language, the Paymaster General, Penny Morden, in the, re the second reading in the Commons, said she would provide further explanation in committee, but she understood, and I quote, how offensive the word person or persons can be in this context. And commenting further, she said, I hope we can make some changes, if not in the legislation and in the explanatory notes that will address some of these issues. However, she said that the government could put the word minister in the explanatory notes stating that, again, I quote, although that is still gender neutral language, it is much less jarring to him than for a person. 
So I hope that the minister will accept the use of word person in place of woman when the legislation is intended for women only and not for men, that the word woman should always be used. And it is not too late for the government to come forward and amend the bill to put right a wrong. I do hope the minister will take note of the criticism and how offensive it is to women, bearing in mind that this second that this is a second bill before us in recent months that the word woman has been written out of legislation as in the domestic abuse bill. But in saying that, I do support the bill in every other uh, aspect of it and I look forward to the minister's response.